Yes, we are. Holy crap. You know, part of me is wondering. Maybe the smartest way to deal with him would be to take his hands. After all, what good is an inventor if he can't invent? Well, then again, considering he's the master of clockwork soldiers, apparently, it probably isn't out of the question that he could make himself a bionic hand. Or clockwork hand, I guess if you want to call it that. <sighs> all right. Let's do this. All right. I need to eliminate Jindosh and find Anton Sokolov. Neutral territory. It does not immediately fill me with confidence. Audiograph. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Welcome to my home, stranger. The door is always open to those with the will to pass the threshold. If you're here by appointment, then proceed and bide your time. Otherwise, I'd be remiss if I didn't inform you about the defensive mechanisms employed here, which are quite formidable. Many have entered without invitation, for reasons as myriad as the fish in the ocean. But of those who've dared to explore further, very few have found their way back out. Ominous. There are such strange and wonderful things living down in the deep. Why does he have a bust of what looks like Cthulhu? I mean... There's definitely some Lovecraftian shit going on with this particular game series. Oh, he's been selling more of these things. Great. But yeah, there's without a doubt some Lovecraftian elephants, not, not elephants, elements in this seri game series, all things considered. Let's see. Bone charm, bone charm, bone charm. Boom. Oh boy. I mean, the outsider himself is very Lovecraftian in nature. It's kind of unknowable, incomp vaguely comprehensible entity. What now? Configuration lever? Oh god, this is gonna be one of those maze levels, isn't it? Well, I mean, this is technically neutral territory, but still. build something like this and why ah someone's activated one of the mechanisms in my house jindosh my home is always open it's one of my great curiosities seeing how the common mind navigates these shifting rooms i'm karen jindosh but you must know that i invite you to continue stranger just come up the stairs I can't tell if you're just a model or if you're gonna attack me or not. I am already freaked out. Just a bit. Hello, stranger. That's it, you're almost there. Okay. Come into the gallery so I can see. Now that 
I see you, I've worked out who you are. Oh, God. Not a hired cutthroat. Your clothes are too fine. An aristocratic thrill seeker? That's closer. You've trained with weapons formally, but you're not a salon fencer. There's a bit of back alley in your movements. All that, and you have your father's eyes. Your Imperial Majesty. Welcome, Looks like a Lady mechanist Emily avatar. Caldwin. Impressive, Jindosh. Then you must also know why I'm here. I'd assume my involvement with the Duke His thumb my is door. a pipe? Or maybe you're after washed-up Anton Sokolov. Comfortably residing in the assessment chamber. Both. Either way, come find me and take whatever it is you seek. But if you fall, I'll have your body carried to my lab for dissection and study. Until either comes to pass, your secret is safe with me. I'll see you soon, Jindosh. Until then. Find another way to eliminate Kirin. There we go. There we go. Somehow I got out of that alive. Thankfully, I read the book. Plague? The hell even is that? What did I pick up? Okay, no idea what I picked up. All right, so. We need to find a way to deal with him. Preferably without killing him. Wall of light. over there it looks like black bone charm bone charm bone charm Tell me I was probably able to open that, wasn't I? If so, I feel somewhat stupid. I guess the only way to shut off that wall of light would be. Okay, I'm gonna quick save here because there's something I want to test out. Someone tells me it's not gonna end well for me. Okay, so apparently it can zap shadows. Again. I seriously don't understand the idea. In part, I made this place a luxury and spectacle, I suppose, but it's more than that. This place is a testament to engineering itself. 
give you that. this thing. I feel like this is going to become drop. All right, so. I feel. Like I. Really going to have to do more research because if I'm gonna have to fight these things throughout this entire level I'm in trouble if some fools able to get close enough there's a small panel in each clockwork it can be rewired which will invert their perception in front of foe again that means you will be get attacked okay so I think I have figured out how to deal with clockwork soldiers. Now supposedly I have figured out that you can stealth kill them, but only if you do a drop takedown. So that, I should have expected that one to come alive and try and kill me. These things show up in dark vision. Wait, no. Just straight up guards. It'll wake up on its own if a fight breaks out. They're blind, but they can still hear. Creepy to know they might be listening to us. Can they understand what we're saying? No. No more than an audiograph machine can. Uh, what? The window. Maybe the wind or something. Hmm. 
Not taking any chances. When I think about it, your presence implies a great deal. It's very impressive that you survived Delilah and made it down here to Karnaka, all without the aid of your infamous father. Let's just dump her over by Cthulhu over here. That these things will wake up if a fight breaks out. go to and yeah leave your body as an offering to Cthulhu <laughs> Cthulhu Vtagen I think that's how you pronounce it All right. Seven health elixirs, seven Atomire. All right. Does hiding your face intimidate your enemies? Or merely conceal your own? Stand clear! I'm bringing up the Arc Pylon! The what now? What's an Arc Pylon? Guessing. No, not a bone charm in there. Arc pylon does not sound pretty. Oh, look, someone doesn't have a hat on. Why do I get the feeling that if I walk near that thing, it's gonna explode at me? Just a thought. Okay. Ah, 
How? How the fuck? I'm going to have to. F <laughs> How far back is that going to set me? <sighs> How far back is this going to set me? Graph machine can. I think I just saw something. Pretty sure I saw someone. Okay, no. Like, really? How? You know what? Fine. Reload me. I don't give a damn at this point. Oh, God. I'm starting to feel like my choice of upgrades, in hindsight, may have been a poor one. <sighs> Why didn't I get Doppelganger or Domino? I am seriously debating going back a save off screen. In fact, I just w very well might do that. Because <sighs> this is starting to get a little ridiculous, and I'm realizing that my choices in perks may not have been the best ones. What a shocker, I know. Yeah. I think Doppelganger is the one I should have gone with instead of runecrafting, because so far, that has not been worth it. So I think what I'm probably going to do is I am going to go back a save. I'm not going to record it or anything, because, let's face it, I don't really think I need to. Doppelganger will probably be a much better 
thing to go with. I don't know how far back I'm gonna have to go. At the very least, back up to before I went through the station. For all I know, I might have to go back all the way further, because honestly, I feel like I really, really dropped the ball on this. But yeah. So anyways, I think I'm going to leave this recording session here. I'll figure out how far I'm going back, what I'm doing. We will see. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, and hopefully you'll put up with my screw-ups. <laughs> Since I realize I have completely and utterly screwed up. I am sorely underprepared for this. So with this being said, I'm going to leave this here. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, you'll subscribe if you're new and hit that bell icon if you want to see new videos whenever they come up. Don't forget to like, comment, give feedback if you can. I'm well open to constructive criticism. So. Yeah, I think I'm really going to have to go back quite a bit. So yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching, and as always, have fun, stay safe in these troubling times, and I'll catch you next time. Take care.